Crystal Vision here. Welcome to a new Let's Play. It is Twin Sanity Crash Twin Sanity. And as you can see, we already start off with a wonderful sense of continuity, as that image there is basically what happens at the end of Jurassic Cortex. They end up like frozen on an iceberg, that thing like that, like running around an iceberg, they obviously freeze in the ocean, and then they end up drifting back to End Sanity Beach, End Sanity Island. This is Twin Sanity. First things first, let's go to the sound options, let's put the effects down to 6 because we don't need the loudness of that. We need some graphics, we need the widescreen on so we don't do any hacks. And that's it, let's start the new game and I'll put the cutscene music a bit louder for you all. Summon me by breaking open these crates and call me Bryce, and I shall grant you special powers. Alright, so what Crash can say would have been a very long time in the making, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's very disjointed uh, level design wise because the game is basically set up as a, well, very much a, um, you know, like an open world. Sandy is like, yeah, the basically the sequel to Raptor Cortex, and as you probably have noticed, it is nothing like Raptor Cortex. Nothing at all. I mean, it's just ridiculous how much, how much unlike uh, Raptor Cortex it is. It's this open world kind of, it still, I guess it still follows like a, a particular, um, you know, I don't know what the word is, like a technique, you know, like a structure. There's definitely a structure to the Let's Play, but it's like, damn, but it's nothing like, uh, yeah, it's nothing, it's nothing like Like the bay, 
good and not crap, then we're going to call back the crash bandicoot. Um, you know, crash bandicoot one insanity beach. This is, I guess, more than one day insanity beach. Um, so there you go, let's get this started already. We're going to be this genocide of, uh, of, of chickens, you know? Like, uh, we're, just, we're so full, just so damn full. Of, uh,
sanity. Now we're going to uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna conclude this level. Now this level here is jungle bug. And you think you're thinking about it like why isn't this just part of insanity B? You know, in the first level, insanity island or whatever. The thing is, they tried to kind of make it like yeah, like uh, it's kind of like Jack and Daxter where you go into different areas, and that's actually like you know the the, the particular level. So yeah, and we're going to be basically going through like a, a traditional crash platform, like, you know, like what you would see in regular crash, you know, you run through, you, you avoid the enemy and stuff. It doesn't play like a typical crash, but it kind of has a different feel to it. It has a more, I don't know how to describe it, but it just doesn't really feel as like, much like that kind of crash. It feels a bit more, yeah, open world. Just even in the tone of it, it just feels like that.
problem they don't really work. Um, you know, like they don't even appreciate. I could really even appreciate the graphics, like the you know, the actual design of these levels, like the way they look in terms of crash damage. Can you crash damage and beauty points? These are the things. You know, I, I really need more of this. It's really nice. I think really nice too.
Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end it there. In the next part, we're going to have the cabin catastrophe. Well, we've already started that, but we are going to... This is, this is awesome. Unfortunately, we're about 10% complete already. So, it is 9% complete, sorry. But, in the next part, cabin catastrophe. Went for one hell of a, a cavernous level. It's going to be awesome, though. Thank you for watching. See you next time.
understand what they were going for. But coupled with the camera and the stickiness of this, um, I don't necessarily think it was a good idea to take the ship. Thank you. 
So yeah, like crash insanity, um, get innovative first couple of levels, do stuff like that, you know, really changing the mood of the game, and it's only going to change even more, uh, for better or for worse. Um, actually, I'd say for better, but I'd say, okay, shit, now we go into six times. That seems to remain on seven. That's really weird, and now we click to eight. But I think if, if you lose one at ten, once you get more, it can take you back down to seven. I'm guessing that they think that this is going to take that bottom line. It's maybe, it's really like a weird thing where I think it's not going to,
feelings of this guy, who are the, you know, go by the name of like the inborn twin, the, the yes, and the Jack Lynch. Now, um, all right, to have explained this, uh, okay, so wait a minute, is that, what is this? Oh my god, is this the is that you back to the, yep, 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 This is like, as you can see, the pause button. This is end of the island, and so we haven't beat it yet. So we're going to do this part. We're going to do. I, I know I should split this into a separate part, but the thing is, it's probably only it'll probably only be like a minute. Do you know what I mean? Like this level is really quick. Um, but yeah, so this is what I love about. This is what I absolutely, absolutely love about Twin Sanity. Look, we've got this. This is like a natural continuation of you know of the level. In a way that you know, just is, I just think is awesome. You know what I mean? Like, you've got more, more stuff like this thing here. Yeah, so is, is that like another hole that crashed just speed beating or something? But anyway, so what we're going to do here is push, push stuff into stuff like, like that. There we go. There we go. So we can get the one. Now, someone also in the comments, I'm talking about the comments quite a lot. They, and how nice is this, by the way? Now, look at that. You see the background? Someone pointed this out in the comments how the, these are the old islands from Crash 1, 2, 3, or whatever. The islands, or 1 and 2, maybe. And yeah, and someone else pointed out that the, all the green gems are always like a, like a high ledge type thing, and that's actually very true so far. I have noticed that. Um, yeah, like different ones on different ledges. Like this one, like the yellow one's like on like a. Um, actually, the yellow one wasn't like that, but the yeah, yellow one's like random. And there's like, there's some logic behind ones, like involved like a puzzle or something like that. I think it's Gem, I, I don't know, something like that, but there is some, somewhat, there is somewhat like a, a, a method to this madness of the gem collections, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's, um, so I think there might be one final area before the last boss that in order to 100% end Sandy Island, I think that's the point, that's the intention. Um, okay, I don't really know what they want us to do here either, because, oh uh, yeah, right, just knock this over. Level, I think it's fantastic. Um, over here, there's like a cutscene thing, and I don't think we can actually make it over there. And in fact, I think that might be at the end of the level. I think that's the, the intention is that you go there at the very end of the level. And there's some life. There we go. 12 lives. Alright, so hopefully, out of this season, in the next part, we're going to be going to Totem Hokum. We're on our way there now. Um, very excited for Totem Hokum. It's a fantastic level. It's a very memorable level. It's the level that's in the demo, one of the levels in the demo of this game. Uh, wait, when, it was, when the game was under the name Crash Unlimited, and that's what it was one of its working titles. I think it went like Crash Evolution or something like that. Like, but he, he, the title for this game, like they, they love the change of the name. I mean, just a sign that they completely butchered what this game was, as I will always bring it up. Uh, in, you know, in, in light of when people do criticize. So here it is, it's right here. There we go. In the next part, we will do that. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure, and I shall see you in the next part. Hello, everyone. Crystal Vision here. Here we are in Totem Hokum. What a beautiful looking level, isn't it? Fantastic. It's continuing on with the, uh, the jungle theme, of course, for the of the island. And uh, we need a cutscene. I'm very into this cutscene, actually. How could help me, Crash? You heard them. They want to destroy our island home, humiliate and enslave you, and steal my brain. How I envy the simple life of the tribe. Living in 
harmony with Mother Nature. The noble boar, the humble bumblebee. God, this is fantastic. Um, firstly, I just love the what's the word, the, the whole callback to Papu Papu, how he's just there and he's just like he just doesn't give it. And they like recycle the sound of the um of the thing, like the uh, purposely like like you know using it over and over again just for dramatic effect. I always thought that was really quite cool. And uh, fair play to Yi uh, Yi I mean the developer, so there we go. Get that one. Okay, so this is Code and Potion and this is a very memorable challenge for me. I, I remember this really well um, doing this kind of thing. Oh shit. You know what sucks? You have to watch the whole thing again. Now this really didn't suck. Even though it's great, you have to watch it again. So time to skip back again. Sorry about that guys. Um, yeah, so basically you have to actually just have to wait for it to, to go across. Yeah, and no, I've always loved this stuff, but yeah, you do have to wait until it um yeah, until they wouldn't do that like that, so then you don't get too far ahead. But there's a checkpoint there already, which is great. So this is a quite a unique challenge. I remember this uh, this existed. Poor bastard. This actually is oh shit. How does that work? See what people would say when they get a bit annoyed with the music in this one. This one is a little bit more great. This is really quite, yeah, it's quite prominent. Um, there you go, across here. This is what the thumbnail will be. Fantastic. You're watching this. Oh, genius, method joke, right? Okay. <coughs> Boys, we're gonna make it. No, it's just too slow. We gotta, let's go, hurry, hurry up, hurry the fuck up. It's all bollocks, isn't it? Oh, shit. Wow, we are fucking up big time. Well, by we, I mean me. Christ. Okay, sorry about that. We'll get this now. This is the, the impatient factor. Oh, shit.
a triumphant return. How awesome is that, guys? Apu freaking Apu is back. Now, as someone else pointed out in the comments, pretty much all the guys that you see in the, in the cutscenes there, in the first one, where like your friends and enemies or whatever, you know, your bosses, they were meant to be in this game in every capacity. But, uh, they weren't, because fuck uh, Universal, that's why. Because no, not enough time. Wouldn't you have loved to see like a Rick and Rue modern incarnation, you know what I mean? Where are you right now? Still in Toby Hogan? Yeah. Let's go. 
like it was a good thing this morning, but I think that I'm afraid I'm going to fall off. That's the problem. There we go. Another checkpoint. There we go. We're towards the end now, but we're not the end of the level, but the end of this section, I believe. I think there's only one more, one more thing. Oh, what? So what can be seen from... Okay, there we go. Holy shit. That's intense. Oh, man. That's insane. Okay. And done it, done it. Yes. Yeah, there's some wild, wild wars and things like that. I don't know what they are. What the hell? Oh, my God. I've just forgotten. Yeah. Typical me. Oh. So the trick is, you've got to hide behind the things, I guess. That's a crazy level, isn't it? at all right now. Like, legitimately don't have a clue about any of this. Like, I've forgotten about it all. Um, for better or for worse, I should know. It's a good thing. I think it's cool that I don't actually know. Oh, God. I'm just playing a sad cello harp or whatever it is. Anyway, sorry about that. Oh, watch out, mate. Where's Cortex? Really? Wait a minute, Cortex here? Oh, that's right. They took him. Yeah. Cortex has been trapped. Uh, okay. Just spin the rocks across me. the rock, okay. I've lost flame the rock jumps and that. Right. That's what's this boat here? Yeah, very nice, okay. Oh, oh, oh god, Jeez, these guys are strong, okay. Right. So what are we looking for now? We're clearly missing that's, that's to get the red gem, but we're not even near the end of the level yet, I don't think. Um, okay. Are we gonna to die to get the rock back or what? but yeah, it happened anyway. Oh, what? Wait a minute. No, they did not. No, they did not. Are you fucking kidding me? You didn't even get the fucking thing. A load of bullshit, eh? Right, slam your chest to the Oh my god, what? Seriously, bullshit, there you go. Get in there. Ooh. Oh shit, okay, well, probably should be sliding these bastards. Yeah, so that's really annoying, so I'm gonna have to basically do the entire level again to fix all this. Um, so I'm gonna slide. Slide, slide. Look at him. You see this guy? You see this? This is 
I guess it's meant to be the original cut from Crash 1. So, isn't that just fucking awesome that they've actually got Puppy Puppy sitting there just like he does in the other games? This is some continuity. And I was like, oh, it's fine. All good. So, for now, yeah, we don't, he's, got, he's, got nothing, he's got nothing to say with him right now. Instead, we need to find where to go. You know, dark map, group, group, group. Alright, okay. So now we're here.
Six. You know what this is like? It's like fresh one to three. And kind of four, but not really. I don't really count it. That's really cool. I like this. Um, and we have zero lives left, so I better save. Here we are running. Oh god. It doesn't because it's not as fluid as fresh one and that oh look, that 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 thing there look is like exactly like the old one. Uh, you know, anyway, this is kind of pointless though, because I'm going to have no bits of it. Oh shit. There you go. In fact, I'm gonna have no bits of health left at all. I'm got this, I've got the, yeah, I'm done. That's it. Game over. Resume the game, shall we? Yeah. Really, really awkward jumps. Oh my god. Okay. This is bad. Okay. There you go. The checkpoint. The checkpoint that doesn't matter, as I said. But, whoops. Oh, we're gonna get this gem again. Just because I saved there, so we can yeah, go back to that. I have to do the whole section again. There's just no point. It just seems it really, really just it is pointless. It is without point, so. Okay, well, I know it's a bad point. There's a gem in one of these places, so I don't want to this jump. Those jumps are really awkward. back at the other level. Oh god, okay, we're gonna have to keep, oh my god, we're gonna come back. That is gonna be disastrous. Alright, so we're actually in Den Sandy Island now, but we can't do anything, I don't think. This is another level. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to come back and get those other things now, because, yeah, that's gonna be disastrous. Okay, guys, here we are. Let's get this, let's do this on Champions. The breakfast of Champions. Oh, whoa.
discretion to go off that. That's the thing I didn't get. I'm gonna come back. Here we go. I've done it. I've done it. I'm, I'm starting. I'm starting from the bottom now. I'm here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. As I make the jump. Oh my god. Fantastic. Oh shit. And that's very fuck this shit. Be looking. Alright, now back to the main base camp where we can start the next part. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. I'm sorry that took so stupidly long because I was an idiot. And uh, yeah, we shall see you when we do the ticky box. So now we're going to actually do our first hook. Actually, it's not yet the first boss, it's the second boss. Here we go. I tell you, you are the one who is dead. Well, just start out the clean day. Anyhow, who's been making a sexist insanity island here? Who is this? So much to see, so much to destroy.
endorse that again, but endorse this again. That's really goddamn stupid because I, I threw it at him and it didn't do.